Green Day is one of the most important rock bands of the 90s and 2000s. Let's check out Trey Cool's drum sound. The subliminal mind, America. If you want to enhance your drumming vocabulary, head over to our free platform artofdrumming.com. A huge collection of high quality drum lessons of all genres is waiting there for you. Create your account now and get started right away. The multi Grammy award winning American rock band Green Day is one of the most style defining bands regarding rock music of the 90s and especially the 2000s. Their biggest selling albums, Dookie and American Idiot, can easily be called two of the most influential albums within those decades. Let's start by taking a look at one of the biggest hits from Dookie Basket Case. It all keeps setting up. I think I'm cracking up. Hey, am I just paranoid? Am I just sad? I went to a shrink. Drummer Trey Cool drives the song with his punk rock inspired grooves and fills. Green Day, being a trio, gave him the chance to take up a lot of space in their arrangement and play a huge role in defining their sound. To recreate his drum sound, we chose our Gretsch Renown kit and started by installing a clear Remo Powerstroke 3 drum head on the bass drum, the low tuning on the batter side, and a slightly higher tuning on the rezzo side paired with a porthole in the rezzo head create the sound we're looking for. After placing some muffling inside the kick drum, this is what we ended up with. Trey Cool is well known for his 1 up, 2 down setup. The tom sizes we went with are 13, 16 and 18 inches. To get the right amount of attack, we decided to use clear double ply emperor drum heads on top and clear single ply heads on the rezzo side. To shorten the sustain and overtones, we used some gaffer tape on the rezzo side and added crown gels on the batter heads. In a rather low tuning, this is our Green Day tom sound. The last drum we picked for this video is a Drum Workshop PDP 14x6.5 Concept Steel Snare. You might already know this one from our Travis Barker video. The thick 3mm steel shell provides a super clear attack without too much ring, perfect for Trey Cool's sound. To keep an open quality while having enough durability for the loud playing, we decided to use a controlled sound drum head that features a reverse dot. For this song we went with a medium high tuning and used no muffling on the snare. During the preparation of this video shoot, we looked at Trey's cymbal setup on Zildjian's website and tried to match his configuration with what we have in our arsenal. While he plays a 19 inch K Dark Crash Thin and a 19 inch A Custom Crash, we used 18 inch versions of both cymbals. The 22 inch K Constantinople Renaissance Ride and 19 inch K Custom Hybrid Trash Smash are the same with his and our setup. Instead of his prototype ride, we went with an older 20 inch K ride and instead of his special 14 inch hi-hat combination, we created our own using an A custom bottom cymbal and installed a K custom dark hi-hat bottom cymbal on top. After setting up the whole kit, it's time to take care of the right miking. For Green Day's rock sound, a clear attack is necessary to cut through the mix. That's why we mainly use condenser mics. The only two dynamic mics are an M201 on the snare and a TGD70 outside the kick drum. Both are supported by condenser mics being an MC840 as snare bottom and a TGD71 inside the bass drum. The four small diaphragm condenser mics on the kit are three TGD57s on the toms and an MC930 to support the hi-hat. The overheads are two MC740s placed in an AB pattern and the miking setup is completed by an MC840 room mic set to an omnidirectional polar pattern. Now let's watch Pascal swing a pair of Trey Cool signature sticks in our version of Basket Case. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those Melodramatic fools Neurotic to the bone No doubt about it Sometimes I give myself the creeps Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me It 
Besides getting the kit right, the way you play is super important here. You can tell that Trey doesn't play accented and non-accented notes on the hi-hat, but instead plays all of the hi-hat strokes with the same volume. This gives the groove some extra drive and energy. Ten years after the release of Dookie, Green Day released their album American Idiot. Here's the biggest hit on this album, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk along. Even though the producer behind both records, Rob Covallo, stayed the same, the whole American Idiot record sounds a lot cleaner than Dookie. Trey Cool's setup, however, did not change much over the years. We stayed with the same kit and mics and mainly reworked the snare. The pitch with this one is lower and we used one of Remo's crown gels to shorten the sustain and reduce the overtones. Listen to our Boulevard of Broken Dreams snare sound. Let's hear the song now. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Over the years, Green Day has evolved from an underground punk rock band to one of the best-selling mainstream rock acts of all time. Which of their albums do you like the most and how did their music influence you as a musician? Let us know in the comments and help us grow our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel. <laughs>